Well, happening today, a candlelight vigil to honor Officer Jacob Candinoza. That is the Terrell police officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty Sunday night. Trevor Sahaki is live at the Terrell Police Department with what we're learning about the suspect in this shooting. And Trevor, it's a little unusual. The suspect has a clean record before this incident. Yeah, Madison, Darian Johnson has no felony record, no violent criminal history, but is now accused of murdering a police officer. When CBS Texas reached out to his family in Mississippi, his brother declined to say anything about him. The 25 year old was denied bond by a Kaufman County judge and currently remains in the Kaufman County Jail. When authorities arrested Johnson for murdering Officer Jacob Cannonosa, they found him driving a pickup truck with Mississippi plates at the Mill Creek Ranch Resort. That's an RV park in Canton, a town about 30 miles miles east of Terrell along I-20. A spokesman with the Texas Department of Public Safety confirmed Texas Rangers detectives are now investigating the killing, but DPS did not say if Johnson was cooperating. Officer Cannonosa graduated from Midlothian High School 10 years ago and joined the Marines. He had just joined the Terrell Police Force in July and leaves behind his wife and five-year-old daughter. As for that candlelight vigil, there will be one tonight happening at 6 p.m. right here at Terrell Police Headquarters. You can see just from the amount of flowers and signs and posters and crosses by his patrol vehicle there. We are expecting quite a few people to be at this candlelight vigil tonight at 6. Officer Cannonoza's family also told us that there will be a procession of hundreds of police vehicles today at 9 a.m. as they follow Officer Cannonoza's body from the Dallas Medical Examiner's Office to here in Terrell this morning. Live in Terrell, Trevor Sahaki, CBS News, Texas.